What's going on boys and girls, what's up world? Austin John Place here and today I'm going to be talking about how to get one of the most elusive shields in the entire game. The Hylian Shield. Ooh, it's so glossy. Sadly, the only way to do it is to go to Hyrule Castle. Now, you don't need to beat the game. Don't need to fight Gen, don't need to do any of that. The only thing you really need to know how to do is how to defeat a Henix. Henix, whatever they're called. If you take one of those down without a problem, then you got it in the bag. Let's continue. Right here, we're looking at Hyrule Castle, and the location that we're gonna wanna go to is the moat, and particularly on the west side of the main entranceway. I'm gonna warp to a nearby shrine. Now from this main area, I'm right in front of the castle's main entranceway, the moat, the drawbridge, all that. If you have the gift that lets you fly up immediately in the air, then you could do this. Or you can go to the left side and go up the thing, or you go up the right side, up the regular thing, however you want to do it. I just have this available, it's super fast, so we're going to do that. Great. Now all you got to do is glide down over here to the bottom left area. Doo -doo -doo. We see this little cave looking mine guy, right next to these beautiful luminous stones. Once you make your way inside, you're going to find a diamond and a bombable wall. Take care of those both. Make your way on to the next room, and you're going to find three of these little mini stone talus guys. Uh, I think they're called pebbles or something adorable like that. You don't need to find them. All you need to do is jump in this minecart, use stasis on it, and then make your way on through the tracks. You'll most likely stop halfway, which isn't a problem. If so, just reinitiate the stasis, hit it a few more times, and you should be good to go. Hop on out of this great minecart ride. Walk through the, what I think is the only exit out of this giant empty room. And at the end of the hallway, we're going to find another bombable wall. And that's right, you guessed it, bomb that bombable wall. Great. Now we're going to make a left. We're going to make another left. We're going to have to make a right. Here at the lockup, you're going to find a bombable wall. And you could guess what we're going to do with that bad boy. Now you're gonna find some of the purple stuff, and the eye, shoot the eye, gets rid of the purple stuff, gets rid of the things. This guy's gonna shoot you with water, it's gonna take a quarter of a heart, not a problem. You actually don't need to fight these guys. This Lizolfo and that Moblin, just don't, don't fight him, just walk to the other way, walk through this door, and even if they wanted to fight you and follow you, they can't, because that slams down right behind you. Great. This is going to be the Stalnix, the Stalfo version of the regular guy. Strategy for this is almost literally identical. You're gonna take an arrow, gonna shoot him in the eye, he's gonna fall down. You're gonna take a sword out, you're gonna do the big swingy guy. Boop, 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 boop. If you have the camel ability, you're gonna do some lightning. Great. Now, the only difference from every other one that you're going to face is that this guy, once he's down to almost no health, his eye is gonna pop out, and it's really gross. Now, while he's disabled and chilling on the floor crying like a little biatch, all you need to do is hit this thing in the eye, or hit this eye in its entire selfness. If you don't take the eye out, he's gonna climb back in the face, and you need to bring its HP down once again. Once you have him down at that critical marker, eye's gonna fly out again. For me, it was just one shot left, and boom. He's gonna have the most dramatic death ever, with all of his weapons stuck in all of his body parts. And this chest is going to be revealed. Ooh, there's a little sign behind it, let's read that. Test of the Royal Guard, strike down the giant foe to become recognized as a knight of the kingdom. You know what this calls for? Outfit change. Yep. Open up this chest, and there you go, ladies and gentlemen, the Hylian Shield. With a power of 90, that's gorgeous. With a power of 90, that makes it the most powerful shield in all of the game, followed by the Ancient Shield and the Royal Guard Shield that both have a power of 70. Even the Hero Shield that you get from the Wind Waker Amiibos, that only has a power of 65. So yes, you have the most powerful stock shield in the game. Now, big question, there's only one of them. What do you do if it breaks? Well, if you completed the entire side quest for Tarrytown, then you're good to go. All you need to do is walk up the stairs, talk to this guy over here. His name is Grata. All you need to do is talk to Grata, and then any equipment that you've lost or accidentally sold, as far as the climbing set of equipment, the shock-resistant set of equipment, and the barbarian set of equipment, 
Also, your original clothing that you woke up in, the old shirt, the well-worn trousers. And then lastly, the Hylian Shield. If you have the Hylian Shield and you broke it, you can come here and buy a new one from him. If you don't know about Tarry Town, I'm going to sum it up in about 45 seconds. Once you buy a house in Hatino Village, this guy over here, Hudson, he's going to make his way on over here. Come over here, talk to him, you're going to do some a whole bunch of side quests. You need to get a whole bunch of wood, and you also need to find some people. You need to find a Goron, his name is Grayson. You can find him at the Southern Mine, right at the bottom of Death Mountain. You need to find Ronson, Ronson? She's going to be at the Karakara Bazaar. She is a Gerudo. You need to find Fison. Noticing a trend with all the, the sun name things. He's going to be at the Rito Village. He's a Rito. And then lastly, you need to find Capson. He's this, this super old Zora. He's going to be at Zora's Domain. He hides underneath a staircase. He's a little hard to find, but he's, a, he's the old red one. But he's definitely there. It took me a while to find him. After all those people, all the side quests involving all the gathering of wood is done, then boom, Tarrytown is yours. You have a whole bunch of shops, some exclusive clothing. Well, not exclusive because uh, you could buy this at the Secret Club in Gerudo, but it's cheaper here. Ah, it's a video for another day. So yeah, if your Hylian shield breaks, you come here, you're good to go. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, how to get the best shield in the game. Austin John out. Be sure to like this video and subscribe. I'm going to be giving you guys lots of helpful videos in the next following days and weeks. Till next time, Austin John out.